let's see the configuration in configuration there are a couple of things that you have to do first first thing is enterprise structure there's a small additional enterprise structure element that you have to consider to make credit management work and that is credit control area and we have discussed enterprise structure in the previous chapters we have not discussed credit control area right so what is a credit control area a credit control area is a special enterprise structure element that's used specifically for credit management only and this guy credit control area is assigned to both company code as well as a sales org let's take some examples say there's a company code for Canada and company code for US if you link one credit control area to both of these what we're essentially trying to define here is for a customer let's say J&J who is doing business in US for 200k say and 100k in Canada the total credit consumed for this customer is going to be 300k so if you want to basically combine credit management functionality across US and Canada then you can assign the same credit control area to both US and Canada if your requirements call for it then you can do it this way but if you don't want to do it and if you want the customer J&J to have a different credit limit for Canada and a different one for the US they're both distinct entities say then assign different credit control areas to US and Canada in this example if J&J defaults in the US it doesn't matter JNJ Canada can still continue to order so this is one key consideration that you have to take into account when you're doing credit control area definition assignment so the first point is credit control area is a mandatory enterprise structure element in credit management the second point is a credit control area can be assigned to more than one company code think of the US and Canada example that's the first thing in credit management configuration the second thing is configuration for simple credit management is purely based on the document type let's see that go to SPRO IMG sales and distribution basic functions credit management and you go to simple credit limit check go to your document type your custom Z document type and then set it to either A or B or C all of them are different variations of simple credit management they're all relevant for simple credit management only and of course blank means no credit management and D means automatic credit management automatic meaning either static or dynamic for example if you set this document type ZSI1 to D this means it's set to automatic credit management for simple men for simple credit management the configuration is also simple just set it to A or B or C and you're done but automatic credit management has some more controls behind it you'd have to do something else what is that something else there are three parameters that define automatic credit management number one credit group 
Number two, risk category or risk group, whatever you want to call it. And number three, credit control area. Credit control area is an enterprise structure element. You already know this. Credit group comes from the document type. Risk category is a parameter that comes from the customer. Now, why is a risk category or risk group associated with the customer? Simple. Not all customers are created equal. Johnson & Johnson is a Fortune 100 company. What is the risk of Johnson & Johnson defaulting? Almost zero. But some godforsaken company in another country, can you trust them? If they don't pay, how can you go recover your money? You'd want to classify them as high risk, definitely. Because say a customer from Nigeria wants to purchase something from you. Right? That's an example of a high risk customer. Again, Fortune 500 companies, low risk. Some companies with no credit rating or companies in other countries, high risk. The way you do credit management is different with different customers. And you can set different kinds of credit policies based on the risk profile of that customer. By the way, it's not called a risk group, it's called risk category. So every customer can be associated with a risk category. In fact, every payer, not even a sold to, a payer. The next parameter is called credit group. Why do we use a credit group? Not all business processes are the same. So example, rush orders need to have a different kind of credit policy. Cash sales need to have a different kind of credit policy. Consignments are different. Contracts are different. So some of you might have a question here. Can you do credit management based on materials? Meaning, not all materials need to have the same kind of credit management. Example, Fast moving goods versus slow moving goods. Assembly line products versus uh, say third party. In-house versus subcontracting. The differences can, can go on and on. But can you do credit management based on the material? The answer is no. In standard SAP at least, you cannot include any other parameters from the materials. Material groups, product groups, divisions, distribution channels, none of that stuff. The only way to solve that problem would be to use user exits or some kind of customization to affect credit management. Which is some kind of coding that you'd have to do. But out of the box, SAP does not support this scenario. So. Document type is associated with credit group. Customer is associated with the risk category. And of course your credit control area. These three things put together will define your automatic credit management. You see them here, right? Credit group, risk category, and credit control area. If you go inside one of these, this is the configuration for automatic credit control. There are so many controls here. Don't worry about them. Not all of them are important. So this is where static and dynamic is configured. They're just check boxes. No big deal. Check one off. It goes one way. Check the other one. It goes another way. And this is where, for static, I would have to consider open orders or open deliveries and all that stuff. By the way, 
where do you assign the company code to credit control area so go to enterprise structure assignment financial accounting and assign company code to credit control area this is the company code right as you can see there's only one credit control area per company code meaning if us is created as one company code in enterprise structure then you cannot have a different credit policy for the west versus the east the only way to do it is to have two company codes in the us which is rarely the case it doesn't happen 